Welcome to the Federal Aviation Administration's Community Education Series. This video provides an overview of the key organizations and individuals, or stakeholders, involved in the management of aircraft noise. Some stakeholders, such as airport operators, airlines, and the FAA, are responsible for determining the number of airport runways and flights per day, the aircraft's destination, and amount of air cargo scheduled for shipping. The FAA's role is to safely manage air traffic, advance technology that improves it, and reduce the impact on the environment. Noise mitigation is an obligation shared by the FAA and all relevant stakeholders. Let's take a look at a common aviation scenario. This is Erica. Erica lives in Seattle and has been looking forward to seeing her family in Detroit, Michigan at an upcoming family reunion. She only has a few days to travel and going by air is the quickest, safest option. She may not realize it, but Erica is an aviation stakeholder. During her trip, Erica will experience the efforts of many aviation industry stakeholders as they each play a role in making her journey possible. The FAA, empowered by congressional legislation and aviation industry recommendations, creates the rules, regulations, and procedures that will ensure her flight is conducted safely and efficiently. Erica arrives at Seattle Tacoma International Airport. Airports are generally operated by city or county governments or by multi jurisdictional airport authorities. Airport owners oversee airport facilities, connectivity to the city, and determine the number of daily operations. Many airports have a noise office or manager who works with surrounding communities to address concerns about noise. They also collaborate with the FAA's Regional Ombudsman, a role created by Congress on issues related to safety, noise, and pollution. It's time to board. The gate attendants scan Erica's ticket and she enters the plane, a new generation aircraft designed and manufactured with noise-reducing technologies. After she takes her seat, the captain introduces the crew, who are busy preparing for the flight and reviewing the final flight plan received from airline dispatchers. The pilots review this plan to determine if any adjustments are needed for safety, such as avoiding weather, before accepting the prescribed route. The route for Erica's flight was developed through a collaborative effort between the airline and the FAA. The air traffic controllers are tasked with issuing the pilot a set of instructions to get the aircraft from the runway to their destination. This includes the departure runway procedure, route, and aircraft altitude. The flight's assigned departure procedure maximizes safety and efficiency. The pilot is encouraged to comply with any existing noise abatement procedures to reduce impact on the surrounding area. Along the way, the pilots communicate with a number of controllers in other FAA air traffic facilities who carefully monitor the aircraft's location to ensure it maintains a safe distance from all other aircraft in the area. As the flight nears Detroit, air traffic controllers advise the captain and first officer of the surface winds, other pertinent information, and clear the aircraft to land using a smooth, idle-powered descent that saves fuel and reduces noise. Erica's journey is but one example of the many ways in which aviation benefits each of us. More than 2 million domestic passengers fly daily on over 23,000 flights to and from nearly 500 commercial airports. Nearly 6 million pounds of cargo are transported domestically by U.S. air cargo carriers every day. Many stakeholders must collaborate together to provide the benefits of aviation while minimizing aircraft noise in areas near airports. Identifying and applying changes to affect noise can be challenging, which is why the FAA continues to work with communities and community roundtables to create awareness and find potential opportunities to promote noise mitigation. For more information, visit the Community Engagement page on FAA.gov.